Hello, everyone. My name is Tolga Jengis. I'm the Domain Intelligence Lead at Kelly Technology. It's great to have you with us today. Welcome to our brand new web series called Quick Bytes. Today we have here with us Chris Fronda, the CEO of Logic Tree. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and Logic Tree? Thanks, Olga. Uh, my name is Chris Fronda. I'm a former product manager of a Fortune 1000 firm and uh, also a 15 year software architect. And I'm the founder and CEO of Logic Tree, the first ever logic management system, which enables businesses to build what we call logic apps that combine learning and productivity for instant expertise. So in other words, we help businesses systematize their processes and institutional knowledge into interactive, actionable content such as self-directed e-learning modules, custom auditing, assessment and compliance tools, sales playbooks and configurators, and complex dynamic support decision trees all in one platform. And the result is that businesses can onboard new hires faster, senior members can delegate more with less risk, and overall businesses can protect against knowledge loss. All right, great. Uh, so from what I understand, Logic Tree's apps are built using a no-code, low-code development environment. Um, can you explain to us how a no-code environment can increase productivity for enterprises? Yeah, the, the no-code, low-code means developers can build custom solutions faster and they can offload development to non-developers, which is called a citizen developer, such as a sales operations team. So those teams can help with development. And the best part for them is that they can build the solutions tailored to their exact needs. So in other words, the no code, low code development environments help teams build custom tools tailored to their needs, unlocking new efficiencies and revenue, and they can do it without taxing the IT department. Okay, sounds good. And can you tell us a little bit more about how your platform helps uh, businesses retain knowledge? Well, our platform focuses on capturing expert knowledge and quickly disseminating that expertise to employees to ensure that they can be onboarded faster and can be reskilled or upskilled quickly. Uh, also, it helps companies delegate responsibilities faster so that their subject matter experts can focus on highly valuable work streams and delegate the rest. Well, that's really exciting, Chris. I think many companies have issues with tribal knowledge and that knowledge being easily lost when there's turnover. Being able to codify that knowledge in an intuitive and logical way really seems to be a challenge that's uh, worth solving. So Gartner's predicting that low code development platforms are expected to grow 23% in 2021. How does this rapid growth affect the future of programming? The low code, no code platform does is enable more rapid development of complex applications. So what that means is that developers will be able to do more in less time. They can also delegate the non-critical tasks to other departments while being able to focus on more value creating and differentiated functionality. Um, so every company talks about the IT bottleneck. That phrase means that we're not running at an optimal pace. So the introduction of a platform like this doesn't get rid of jobs but helps reduce the bottleneck. So now organizations start to run faster with systems built directly by the subject matter experts for better outcomes. Interesting, so would you say that Logic Tree can help developers focus on the things that truly matter? That's correct. Yeah, more programming activities can be delegated to the citizen programmers. So in a sales team, the top salespeople can build a custom tailored sales enablement solution that outpaces off the shelf technology and is more cost effective than IT building a custom solution. So now your developers can focus on adding more differentiated code to further enhance the solution. Furthermore, with the added capabilities, data scientists can take advantage of more relevant and timely data that can be captured through the platform. Okay, um, so how does this help the IT department itself? Well, it's, it's well known that there's a shortage of talented developers. So by enabling the citizen developers to have access to the tools to self-service, you extend the IT department. So the IT department can now um, get rid of that IT bottleneck. They have the benefits of custom development without the custom price. So the projects where a custom development ROI couldn't be justified with, without an off the shelf solution. And there's the efficiencies gained through that more custom tailored solution. And then the last thing is that we 
are enabling this unlocking of frontline innovation through bypassing the development of commoditized functionality. Thing. Okay. And then does the growth of low code development um, mean fewer developer jobs? Not necessarily. We, we believe that the no code, low code platforms actually unlock more projects and enable a more efficient sharing of the development efforts. So this means that rather than working on the basic uh, but critical pieces of code, you can now free up your developers to work on differentiated solutions instead. Uh, so and certainly there are, there are more benefits to custom development, but a, a, that a low code, no code platform can't match the precision of custom development. But that being said, it will help dedicate more of your resources to these strategic solutions while saving costs and time on developing the more straightforward applications. Great, okay. So as you mentioned, I think programming and developer talent supply has been low for some time. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what are some of the uh, key skill sets that are uh, important for a citizen developer? Well, a citizen developer does not necessarily have to have any prior programming experience at all. Um, however, they should have the ability to capture important information in intuitive and easy to understand ways for others to utilize. So what that means is that your citizen developer will need to have the ability to capture the knowledge from subject matter experts and translate that information into a flow that someone else who is not very experienced can understand and utilize. And that means they must have great communication skills uh, and attention to detail and some basic interest of existing knowledge of UI UX concepts. Okay. Well, thank you, Chris. I uh, really appreciate your insights. Um, we know that enterprises need to use their resources more efficiently, whether that be the software tools or the human talent itself. There's been a long-term interest and the migration to more automation to manage workflows and low-code, no-code environments can also help companies focus on the applications that really matter to their own business transformation. Can you tell us a little bit about how a particular organization can create operational efficiencies through the use of low-code, no-code platforms like Logic Tree? Do you have any recent customer stories you could share with us? Sure, uh, let me give a few examples of our recent work. So we worked with a sales team where their sales people take over a year to become truly proficient at selling their products. And this is because they have such a large number of products that span many different use cases. So the challenge that they face is that because it takes a long time to onboard new hires and ramp them up to proficiency, they were losing opportunity because they're not fast enough at closing the deal. Uh, they're constantly asking for help pinging these expensive subject matter experts, uh, and they are recommending the wrong products at times, leading to high cost in returns and customer dissatisfaction. So to resolve these issues, we worked with them to systematize their sales process into a tool that can guide any salesperson through even the most complex, nuanced sales call faster than ever before and with close to 100% accuracy. So this means they're able to drive more revenue faster and decrease the cost of inaccurate recommendations. So through a decision tree type of experience that walks a salesperson or a distributor or even a customer through a complex configuration, it's allowed for a much faster, more accurate ability to generate the right configuration for each customer requirement. And by using Logic Tree's self-guided system, they are able to save on average over 50% in time to quote per customer. And not just that, the accuracy of each quote increased measurably that led to higher um, rates of sales conversion ratios. Uh, I mean, Having been in enterprise sales myself, I, I can attest I can attest that sales complexity is increasing every day. Um, having that increase in accuracy and time to quote could be really helpful for sales outcomes. So how about in traditional knowledge capture? Do you have any uh, stories you could share with us there? Yeah, well, well, we also recently worked with a financial auditing firm to systematize their auditing process. And the challenge that they faced was that their auditing process was either spread across a lot of spreadsheets and files or was uncaptured in the heads of their top auditors. So this meant that onboarding new hires was incredibly challenging and they were at risk of losing that knowledge with any of the auditors leaving. 
So high turnover and enterprise knowledge retention are highly important to a firm's competitive advantage. Recognizing this fact, we worked with them to standardize all of that knowledge into an auditing blue book that can walk any auditor through the process faster with more consistency. So in fact, through the process of capturing that knowledge, we even uncovered areas of inconsistency or discrepancy between the top auditors that they didn't even know existed. Excellent. So some of our viewers might be wondering, um, how can IT departments and business units integrate a product like Logic Tree into their tech stack and workflows? Well, Logic Tree today can pull and push data into any RESTful API, as well as has native integrations with leading SaaS platforms like Salesforce, G Suite, Zapier, among many others. So what this means is that Logic Tree can be the front office interaction platform for humans that can easily communicate with the back end or other operational data. So also Logic Tree is able to embed the UI widgets into any website or third party system easily. So to sum up with the ability to connect back end data and embed itself, you're able to augment and enhance any of your existing systems. That's excellent. Well, I think for most IT departments, a big challenge remains data integration. So with so many disparate platforms, it's undoubtedly a challenge to have to manually enter data through a swivel chair approach. So I know that there is definitely an interest in um, eliminating that. With that, we'll conclude the first quick bites. Thanks again, Chris Fronda, the founder and CEO of Logic Tree, for meeting with us today and for the great insights you provided. In a few weeks, we'll resume Quick Bites with another excellent software partner, so stick around. Thanks again and see you soon.